So Grok 2 is now freely available for everyone to use. So let's try it out. So what do we know about Grok 2 so far is that it has less censorship. So you can basically ask it to say, give an image of Donald Trump or Narendra Modi or any politician or some kind of public figure. And it will give you images of that person doing whatever you ask this AI to do it. So Grok is really good at that. Let's also try like if it is updated to the latest. So let's do one thing. So let's try and ask it something current and uh, interesting. Can you create an image of the new Superman? I'm not going to give it the name. Let's see what it does with that. Okay new Superman in flash costume. Okay, enter, let's see. It might give Henry Cavill, I guess. But if it does give the image with David, that would be amazing. So it's okay. <laughs> so we have Yeah, like I said, we have Henry Cavill. So it has given three Superman images and one, is it Henry Cavill? Okay. But yeah, the, the images are, I mean, look at this. Superman is Henry Cavill. Anyways, so um, image creation is good. Uh, it's not accurate. Um, let's let's actually say um, David Corn Sweat in flash costume. So you can do these fun stuff with this. Um, I think it also has a fun option or something like that, which is interesting. Um, okay. All right, but yeah, it's given the Superman costumes as well. But <laughs> this is a fun one, which has the mask of Flash, but Superman image. So, you know, it can do weird stuff. So let's try something else, something that is not so much talked about. So let's see how good it is at coding. So let's say, okay, I'll Let's add a new chat. Okay, let's add a new chat and say, can you build me a copter game? Okay, use HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Just to check if it is any good at coding at all. So it's giving the code. So there is HTML, uh, CSS that's separate. And then there is the script. All right. Mm -hmm. This code creates a basic helicopter game. Okay, so can you combine, combine, all three into one file. Let's see. We just want to see what it's coming up with. Is it creating something that is good enough? Ideally, we would like it to, maybe if you want to put it on a website, then we want it in multiple files, but just to check out if it does anything good. So let's copy this one. Let's go to code view it. dot com and I'm just going to paste that in there and preview it okay it did something uh, 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 no okay game over okay that that's not good <laughs> that's not good so let's go back and say uh, improve it This is very basic prompts. I'm just, just just talking to it. I'm not even giving any technical stuff. Let's see what happens. Improve it. It's 
the shape that uh, represents the copter is not responding to the mouse clicks and the buildings are not arranged in a way for the copter to pass through it. So mostly everyone is using this for image creation. I tried it for writing. It's not as good as let's say Claude. With Claude, I mean, it sounds very real. Here you can, I mean, you can understand that it is AI written. So, and that is, all of this is basic prompts. I'm not even talking about giving advanced prompts. With advanced prompts, I'm sure you can get better output. Let's see. I'm going to delete that, paste this in here and see if there is any update. Okay, it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 gone. Okay, okay, there is no way I can pass through this. Hmm, gone, came over. Not all that great with coding, but this is basically what we have with Grok2 right now. Um, but yeah, <laughs> building even so much would be, would have been harder, but I think, you know, Claude does a much better job and uh, yeah, this is just a glimpse into the free version of Grok 2.